Welcome back. Pushing back on social distancing. Startling new footage out of Texas shows a park ranger being pushed into a lake. Look at this. After telling a crowd of park goers to maintain social distancing, the man accused of pushing the ranger now facing charges of attempted assault. States across the country are now easing restrictions on businesses, but still enforcing social distancing. A new government draft report is predicting that the United States will see 200,000 new daily cases of COVID-19 and 3,000 deaths every day, every day by June 1st. Manny Duffler, what is this about all of this pushback? I recognize people do not want an impact on their on their rights, but look at these numbers. I mean, come on, Maria, you don't have a right to be a jerk. And that's what this guy was doing in Texas. Right. No, we don't know a lot, right? I mean, data is still evolving on the threat of the virus, and we need to be able to be nimble depending on how things go as we reopen these states. But the one thing we do know is social distancing works. Remember, if nothing had happened, if no precautions had been taken, we'd be looking at 2.2 million deaths in this country as a result of coronavirus. We know that social distancing was successful. So if we need to continue to have some amount of social distancing in effect so that we can reopen some of these economies to get rid of some of the more dire consequences of coronavirus, which is severe job loss and economic depression, I think everyone can chip in and do their part and stay out of the parks for a couple more months. I mean, it seems, Dagan, people, some people don't understand no the severity of this and how contagious this is. I'm this sorry. is severely contagious and infectious. I know, but you've had people locked inside in tiny apartments in New York City and other major metropolitan areas for six weeks, if not more, if you're looking in California. And I think the appearance of large groups of police officers out, and I am not justifying putting your hands on a park officer. That is absolutely wrong. Touching, pushing, coming in physical contact with anyone who is just trying to do their job is absolutely wrong. However, people are out in the sunshine and if they are willing to take on the risk again we, we're upset you have police officers out issuing summonses dozens of summonses over the weekend to New Yorkers who are out in the sunshine but they couldn't protect the elderly and nursing homes again what did they preach mm. we need to protect the most vulnerable well New York State didn't do that but instead they have cops out issuing summonses to people who are trying to get some rays and some vitamin D and then people's cars are getting broken into and the streets. I just think that when you start sending out groups of police officers and people see them, and this is out in California too, where you have a surfer in the water who's getting chased by a sheriff's department boat, how does that make sense? They're trying to get people out of the water. You need to back up and take a breath. Everybody does. Mm. But if people are willing to take the risk and go out in the sunshine, you know what? If they're within four feet of somebody and not six, I think everybody needs to take a big old deep breath. Hmm. Talking about two, two extremes here for sure. All right. Coming up, Democrats are now joining the call to investigate and push back against China. We'll have that when we come back. Stay with us.